this is how your data pass GUI login page is going to look like. See, this, this is a virtual system, like in a sense, we are running a virtual image on the data power of plants or a VMware workstation. So I will be having a different IP address over here. And if you install the same in your system, you will be having a different IP address depending upon your network's IP address. But in real time, okay. on a physical appliance, if you say that you are working for a project, all of us will be logging into the same data power appliance. So the data power will like they will have a single URL which they are going to share it with us with the credentials of username and password which we use in order to log into the appliance. Okay. So when you take okay. a new data power appliance, you will have only one domain called as a default. Default is a domain which is purely meant for administrative activities, which means we are not supposed to do any sort of development of any services in the default domain. Okay, and hence the data power admin will create multiple application domains so that we can configure our services and do the development. So at first, as I said, when you take a new data power appliance, you will have only a one domain. So if you have to log into that, you will need to log in as an admin with an admin credentials. So you choose the domain as a default and hit on login. Once you successfully log into the data power GUI, you can see on the left hand side, see the, this first page is called as control panel. Okay. This is called as a control panel. Or here on the left hand side, if you see, you will have a simple search box so that it is easy for you to navigate through your data power objects. See, so for example, let's say I have to create an SSL. So what I'll do, I'll search it in here. So when you type it as SSL, it will display all the objects which starts with that name. You can just right click and you can open it in a new tab. So it is very easy for you to navigate through your data power objects by making use of this search box followed by firmware. Every data power will have a firmware. We cannot say it completely as an OS, but the data power is built on this firmware only. So for example, let's say you have an iPhone with an iOS 8, iOS 7, iOS 9. So with each iOS that you try to upgrade it, you are going to upgrade to the latest features. Right? Similarly, since data power is an IBM product, IBM will be releasing the latest firmware and every organization which uses this data power appliance, they will upgrade the firmware to the latest one so that they can utilize those latest features. That is the firmware. Followed by, since I have logged in as an admin, you can see that admin credentials here. If you are logged in as a test user, whatever the username with which you are going to log in, that will be available over here. And DP Sandbox is the name of your appliance. You can change the name as per your convenience. And this is a data port XI-52 appliance. You can see you have spare data port XI-52. Followed by domain. Since I am the admin, I can navigate from one domain to other domain. See, as of now I was in the default domain. So now I can easily switch from default to test domain. Only an admin will have permission to log into all the domains. As a developer, if you start, if you start working on the data power, you will be only given permission to log into the desired domains, only their respective domains. So usually the data power developer will not have access to the default domain as it is an admin domain. Okay. And whatever the work that you do it in the data power appliance, if you want that to be saved, you always need to hit on the save config until and unless if you don't hit on the save config, whatever the work that you do will not be saved here. Okay. And a simple logout button, when you hit on that, it will take you back to the login page. And your control panel has been divided into three sections. One is services, monitoring and troubleshooting, files and administration. Now, as I said, we have a default domain.